Hello and welcome to your daily news and information update. Today's topic, an American crisis. The collapse of the auto industry during the past several years became headline news again during the last week. General Motors received court approval for its restructuring program and was able to sell enough valuable assets to emerge from bankruptcy. Despite what may appear to be a positive moment for this vital U.S. industry, American automakers are still in dire straits. This is easily shown by a quick comparison of global industry leaders. According to the Global 500 produced by Fortune magazine, American Titans, General Motors, and Ford rank 18th and 19th globally and 3rd and 4th in the auto industry in terms of size. These two companies hold revenue of almost $300 billion combined. Unfortunately, in 2008 alone, they lost $44 billion in combined profits. At the same time, Volkswagen, Daimler, Fiat, Pego, and BMW are the largest automakers in Europe. These companies hold roughly $550 billion in revenue as of 2009. As a larger conglomerate, they should be more susceptible to the same global slowdown which destroyed American car makers. Yet, instead of showing losses, these companies combined for over $7 billion in profit. The same was seen in Asia, where Toyota, Honda, Nissan, and Hyundai, a $450 billion group, was able to find stability during the storm. Despite being heavily reliant on the tanking American car market, these companies lost only $4.5 billion in 2009. Why are foreign companies weathering the economic downturn better than their American counterparts? It is largely due to the widespread protections of their home governments and the lack of similar protections in the U.S. Due to value-added tax systems and protective tariff structures, which keep out foreign vehicles, top industrial firms, who should have been hampered by steep drops in demand, were able to boost profits and find sustainability. At the same time, American firms were at the mercy of an economic crisis which was in no way their fault. Ford and General Motors are left unprotected from foreign advances, yet restricted access to overseas markets. When the American auto market fell apart, it took down American giants with it. Meanwhile, foreign companies selling in the United States were able to fall back on protected home markets to raise revenue. The Americans have no home market because it has been so pervasively worn away by direct competition. They also have little foreign market because no country would be so foolish as to allow their auto industry to be dominated by companies from overseas. Cars used to be the backbone of American manufacturing. Today, they are the most prominent example of our industrial collapse. On behalf of Concerned Citizens, I'm Craig Harrington. For more on this and other related topics, please tune in daily to economyincrisis.org. What is to become of us? Why are we oblivious, spiraling down and out of control? Better start yelling out, America is selling out factories, industries, heart and soul.